I am gonna explain the crap out of that game. What? You don't know how to play Palace? Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on, let's go! Woo! Hello! Woolies is back with a new card game. I'm not supposed to say it, but I gotta keep things real. No one calls this game Palace. Everyone all over the world calls this game Shithead. And I gotta warn you, it's really fun, but it's brutal. Hey, hey, oh! It's brutal because what makes this card game different is the objective. Instead of having one winner, all players are trying not to be the one loser. The shithead. For that reason, I don't recommend this game for young kids. Someone losing again. <laughs> this is a modern card game. It was invented in Europe. It's played by backpackers in youth hostels. It's played in pubs. Now let's break it down. How to play shithead. Hey. First, we'll set it up. You can play with two to five players. I think it's best with at least three. In our example, let's pretend there are three. Randomly choose the first dealer. The dealer deals each player three cards face down. Now players are not allowed to look at their face down cards. Next, Deal a card face up on top of each of those cards, like so. Each player is then dealt a three card hand and the remaining cards get placed in the center forming the draw pile, also known as the stock. Finally, players pick up their hand and take a look. I'll flip these so we can learn, but in a real game don't show anyone your cards. Before play begins, players take a minute and may exchange cards in their hand for their face-up cards. You want to move your best cards down to the table. I'll trade these. You'll see why. That's it. You did it. You're all set up to play shithead. Now let's start playing. Your goal is to not be the last person with cards. On their turn, a player wants to discard into a center pile. They can discard up to four cards as long as they are all the same rank. The first player to throw down some threes goes first. If no one has any threes in hand, you'll start with fours and so on. Let's start with these. Boom. So anytime you discard, if that leaves you with less than three cards in hand, you draw cards until you have three. Then you go clockwise for the next person's turn. The next player does the same thing, but the cards that they discard must be a rank equal or higher than the cards that were previously played. So here they can throw down threes or higher. Let's use this one. Again, after they discard, they draw to maintain at least three in hand. Play continues around the table until someone is unable to meet or beat the previous play. If you can't play a card, you must take the entire stack. So if you take the stack, that may mean that you have more than three cards. So on your turn, you don't have to draw until you have less than three. And then the next person starts the discard pile with any card. All right, so that's the core of the game. Now let's move on to special rules. Whenever there are four of a kind together in the discard pile, the entire discard pile gets burned, meaning you remove it from play for the rest of the game. This can be either because someone played four of a kind or because someone completed four of a kind from cards already there. The player that completed four of a kind first draws if necessary, and then they also get to start the new discard pile. They draw again if necessary, and then the game continues. We also have two wildcard ranks, two and ten. Let's take a look at the two. Whoop! A two can be played onto any card, and any card can be played on a two. It does not burn the deck. So here, a player plays a two and draws a card, and the next person can put any card on top of the two. Play then continues as normal. The other wildcard rank is a ten. 
Whoop. When a player discards a 10, that burns the deck. The deck is removed from play, and the player that played the 10 first draws a card if they have less than 3, and then they get to start the new discard pile. They draw again if necessary, and then it's the next player's turn. <laughs> so the object is to get rid of all your cards, but you always draw to maintain three cards in hand. What's up with that? When the stock runs out, draw as many as you can, and then play continues as normal, but now players do not replenish their hands. If you start your turn with no cards in hand, you get to play your table cards. When using those cards, all the rules for playing cards from your hand apply. Wild cards work the same and you still need to meet or beat the rank of the top card of the discard pile. If you can't beat the top rank, you still play a card. And then you take the stack and it's, then it's the next person's turn. You can't play from your table cards again until you get rid of all the cards you picked up in hand. Once you get rid of all your face-up table cards, you play your face-down cards blind. All the card rules apply, and if they are playable, that's great, and if they are lower rank, you take the stack. Once you get rid of all your cards, you are out, and the remaining players continue. And if you're not the last person that still has cards, you didn't lose a shithead. Congratulations. Oh, and one last thing. It's tradition that whoever lost has to go and get everyone a drink or a snack from the fridge. All right, guys, now it's time for you to decide if there's any buttons you want to hit. This game was recommended by a subscriber. Thank you, I've been enjoying this one. Subscribers can now vote for the next game, so stick around, and maybe next time I will bring you your new favorite game.